AUSA is traditionally the venue for the unveiling of a number of new weapon systems. This year, one of the few new weapon systems is this orbital AETK 30mm XM813 cannon. Could you tell us a little bit about this cannon? Please? Yes, it's a derivative of our Mark 44 family of cannons. It originally started out for the FCS program, that's a Future Combat Systems program, and it's a spiral development in, a, in coordination with ARDEC. We've developed the uh, programmable air burst munition um, for the uh, Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle Program for the United States Marine Corps. It's been on the shelf for some time. Thankfully, the U.S. Army is uh, considering adopting it for the Striker lethality upgrade. Yeah, and the first application for this will probably will be for the Striker with the Collinsburg Remote Control Turret. That is correct. Uh, urgent, a, under a urgent operational need, we will be fielding 83 of these to the sec, second CR in Europe. Yeah. I think that will provide the CAV with a step change in fire caliber capability because all they've got at the moment is 50 cal machine guns. That's correct, and uh, an upgrade going from 12.7 to 30 by 173 is quite the step, and we're and we're happy to help. At the moment, this is primary for the U.S. Army. Is there potential for the export market, or are you marketing this alongside the Mark 44? Well, this will be added to our portfolio, and if a customer is interested in a, a dual a recoil integral mount linkless feed cannon, we'll absolutely offer it up. Yeah. And also, I think this will fire 40 minutes of shooter shot with some modifications. That is correct. As a matter of fact, in recent days we had fired uh, 40 millimeter from a, a very similar configuration and we had outstanding results. Thanks very much, Clay.